Oh, Wolfgang. Was? I, I, I wonder what's in this box. It's been sitting here for like two weeks. No one's even opened it. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. Oh my gosh, Wolfgang. I think there's someone in there. Hello, Verista. I think we need to open it and find out who's inside. Oh my gosh, look, it's a new stablemate friend. Oh, and he is a glossy Appaloosa just like me. Hi guys, Stormy Strike here, and yes, here we have a new little stablemate that actually has been sitting around for like two weeks, and I just never got around to unboxing him. This is Aiden, and he is the second release in the Briar 2018 Stablemates Club. And like all the Stablemates for the Stablemate Club this year, they are coming in these adorable little mini Briar boxes. We already did an unboxing of Kona here, and he came in one of these adorable little mini Briar boxes as well. So we'll take a look at him. He already looks stunning. His little briar box is very cute. Here is actually Kona's briar box from the other unboxing video I did of this guy. And it looks like the backgrounds on these two boxes are the same. So it looks like they didn't really change up the boxes at all. The background's the same. I'm actually surprised they're actually the same exact size. I was expecting this one might have been a little bit longer because Kona's a longer model. But they are actually the same exact size and look pretty much the same overall. Aiden's box actually looks a little bit different in color, like a little bit of a color variation when they printed the box. As you can see, the color on this horse is a lot more high contrast and a lot more like high saturation than the one on Kona's box, which is just a little interesting. There's like a bit of a difference in variation there. The backs of the boxes look the same. There's the other side, and then on the bottom, the only thing that seems to be different is that they have their little names on the bottom barcodes there. So that is interesting to me. I'm surprised that they are actually the same exact size, the little boxes. I wasn't sure if they were going to be different sizes or not, but that's kind of cool. It's a one, one size box fits all kind of deal. So it looks like I actually got a really nice version of Aiden. From what I can tell, it looks like his markings are really nice. He doesn't look like he has any major flaws or anything. But let's actually open him up out of the box and get a better look at him. So here he is out of his box. He is really cute. I actually think I am liking him a lot more than I thought I would. He's having a little trouble standing right now, but he is just really cute. Let's go in for a close-up look of him. And of course, as you can see, he is very shiny and glossy, a lot like little Wolfgang here, who was from the 2017 Stablemate Club. He's got a very nice high gloss. There is his adorable little face. He has a black and white eye, and he also has a little mark right there. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be right there, like a marking, or if that's a t uh, just a tiny little paint nick. Hardly noticeable. I love his little markings, the little star on his face, and then he's got a nice big snip right there on his nose. That is really cute. His little nose is kind of like a tannish grayish color. There's the other side of his face. Again, a very big, I would say a very big black pupil there. He is, looks very, very expressive. Super teeny tiny kind of details in this mold. I love the little braiding on his neck there. He has a cute little spot right there. And then look at all those Appaloosa markings. Oh my goodness, that is a lot. I am surprised by how nice and crisp they look. I'm really, really liking that. His legs, pretty kind of darker, orangey, chestnutty color going on there. I will say his hooves are not very well defined. They kind of blend in with the rest of his legs, but his hooves are kind of a grayish color. 
but they are kind of hard to see I feel like they blend in with the rest of his body because they were kind of just airbrushed on it looks like instead of painted on but he still looks really nice it looks a little more defined on this side I feel like very very pretty he has another spot on his neck there I like that and all those crazy Appaloosa markings I like these markings on his shoulder this side seems really nicely masked off and everything as well he looks super great I'm not finding like any flaws on him there's his belly it's hard to see but he has a little briar stamp on his belly and more Appaloosa markings his little tail it has like a little mold flaw right there on his tail otherwise really pretty it goes from white and it's kind of a yellowish color right here actually and then it fades into this pretty tan chestnutty color this is a really nice little model and I'm really happy to see that this guy has like nothing wrong with him hardly he looks super great oh my gosh and now I just found a flaw as I'm saying he has no flaws he is a little sticky for some reason behind his hoof and I'm not sure if that is just sticky stuff or if that is actually his gloss that is not super finished or something because it feels super sticky I'm gonna try not to touch it anymore but I don't know what the deal is with that. Hopefully that is just something that got sticky on his hoof and isn't actually just the gloss coming off for some reason. That's kind of weird if it was doing that. Really good luck with Briar Gloss not doing anything weird. Anyway, there is this little guy. I think he is super gorgeous. I am surprised by how much I like this one. When I saw pictures of him, I kind of liked him, but I wasn't super thrilled about him. But seeing him in person, I actually really, really do like him. He is very cool and I think Wolfgang from last year's Stablemate Club makes a nice little buddy for him. Both pretty little glossy Appaloosas. So that is all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a super duper awesome day and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone!